Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to see how we can solve the mixed DML error in a test class. So we are going to see what is this error, uh, what causes this error. Then we are going to understand how we can solve it in a test class. So let's start. So what is a mixed DML error in Salesforce? So DML operations, as you know, we can perform CRUD operations, uh, create, read, read, update, and delete. And those are called as the DML operations. So DML operations on certain S objects sometimes refers referred to as setup objects can't be mixed with the DML on the other S objects in the same transaction. So uh, this restriction exists because some op some S objects affects the user access to the records in the org and you must insert or up update these types of S object in a different transaction to prevent operations from happening with incorrect access level permissions. For example, we can't update an account and a user role in a, si a single transaction. So all those uh, S objects which affects the permissions uh, in an org of records. So those objects, the DML on those objects can't be mixed with the DML on other S objects. So uh, let me show you what are those objects. So we have two terms here, setup objects versus non-setup objects. So I've given some example of setup objects. So these are auth session, field permissions, permission set, permission set assignment, and user. So, and the non-setup objects are standard objects uh, like account, contacts, cases, some standard objects, and all the custom objects. So DML operation on setup and non-setup objects can't be mixed in a same Apex transaction context because it confuses Salesforce, uh, like the user may might need some more permission, might get some more permission from uh, by assigning the non-setup objects. So that is why the uh, Salesforce has uh, put this error. So that so these two DML operations can't can't be mixed in the same transaction. So there there are some exceptions uh, and the full list of the setup objects you can see in this link. I'll add that in the description. So one exception is that you can insert a user in a transaction with other S objects uh, when the user role ID is specified to as null because we know uh, when we create a user, the role determines the access uh, of the user. So if uh, the user role ID is specified as null, so uh, then uh, we can insert it with the other non-setup objects that won't cause the mixed DML error. So now let's see a demo on how to solve the mixed DML exception. Usually we separate the context while inserting setup and non-setup object. Uh, let's say for a normal Apex transaction, we can use a future method. So future methods are run in a separate thread whenever the resources are, are available. But for the text, test class execution, sometimes we need it uh, to be done ASAP. So we can use the system.run as method blocks to handle this error. So the system dot uh, system method uh, run as enables us to write test methods that change the user context to an existing user or a new user so that the user record sharing is enforced. So basically uh, what happens with the run as is it creates a new context. So and uh, we and to solve the mixed DML error, we need uh, the DML operations to happen in the separate context. So we can do that with the system dot run as method. So let, let me open my org and I'll show a demo on this. So I've created this test class. In the test class, uh, I've named this method as mixed DML error method. I'm creating an account, I'm creating a user, then I'm uh, inserting a permission set assignment that is assigning the permission set to the user. So uh, account here is a non-setup object, user is a setup object. But if we run just these uh, two together, then it won't cause the mixed DML exception since the uh, role ID is blank for the user. And as we discussed, if the role ID is blank, uh, then mixed DML error won't be caused. But if we run all three uh, in a transaction together, then it will cause a mixed DML error. So let me run it and let me show it to you. And let's also debug the error message with it. So are the logs. So if I go to the bottom, so I can see that uh, it, it is showing me that uh, insert mixed DML operation on setup object is not permitted after you have updated a non setup objects. And it has also written the object names that is the permission set assignment and the original object is account. So account is a non setup object and permission set assignment is a setup object. So we can't perform a DML operation one after the other. So to solve this, uh, what we will do is, uh, so 
Now I've commented the first method now, and this is the second method that is uh, error free, mixed HTML error free. So what I'm doing is uh, I'm firstly inserting an account. I'm inserting a user. Now for the permission set assignment, I'm using the system dot run as. So with this system dot run as will create a new context of my user. You can see the ID that it is fetching is of the current user, user info dot get user ID. So whoever runs this test class, uh, who their ID would be present here and it will create a new context and then it will run this logic. So when I run this uh, now, uh, this is the same code, but I won't see the uh, mixed HTML exception since uh, this is being done in the new context. So let me just save it. This has been saved. Let me click on run test. So let's see if there was any error. Boom, there, there wasn't any error and uh, we overcame the mixed HTML exception. You can see in the debug logs, the permission set assignment got inserted successfully. So this is how you can uh, bypass the mixed HTML error in a text cl test class using the system.runAs method. So uh, that's all for today's video. Uh, so hope you like the video and do subscribe to the channel for more such videos in the future. Thanks.